When it comes to movie inspiration and research, still databases like ShotDeck can be really crucial for us filmmakers. However, if you're like me and you hate subscriptions, especially when they add up for all these tools and services that we need as filmmakers, the fee for ShotDeck is just too high for what it offers in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I really like ShotDeck, I even used to be a beta user way before the public release. So I put together the best ShotDeck alternatives and I'm pretty sure you haven't heard of at least one of them. You're welcome. I've made a list and I compared all of them in different categories. Now let's talk about the first one, which is FrameZet app. It's a really cool page that allows you to not only browse for movies, but also commercials and music videos while the focus is mainly on commercials though. And because of that, I think it's really valuable, especially for the ones that are already working in the commercial industry or the ones that are getting into it. This one isn't free though, you only get to do 10 searches a day. However, the amount of stills that Frameset offers is just more than enough. Over 400,000 stills from ads, music videos and movies. I think you can create collections or decks, maybe that's this icon right there, but then it's definitely only available to members. Also how to make a still full screen. I thought it was weird, but maybe I'm just really stupid. Design is dope, you can search by frames and I also provide lots of different filters to narrow down your search. Really great design and user experience and all in all great value even if they unfortunately raised the prices recently which is quite a bummer. I'm pretty sure it was less than shot deck though when I was starting the research thing but it might be still more valuable to you than shot deck so I also managed to get a discount code for all of us so use the code YT22 for 10% off. I would have expected an app though, due to the name, like why would you call your site frame set? Is it called frame set? Due to the domain ending dot app. Maybe that's a thing in the future. I don't know. That would be really dope. Having an app? Dope. Moving on to the next one, frame grab. You might already know this one, but if not, this one is completely free and they have every single movie you could possibly think of and if not then probably by tomorrow. The only downside in my opinion is that the page isn't tagged so you can only search by artist category or you can get the entire film list from A to C. Design is also not too great but I'm not lost here and it does the job so hey I can't complain at all. A really cool feature in my opinion is that it offers a zip file of all stills movie wise. This can be pretty huge actually. I've heard people complain about the lower resolution of the stills compared to other pages, but I haven't noticed any of that. Again, it's free, so shut up. You can even get the consult who's gonna help you find the exact shots for your next project. And finally, my favorite one, which is called shot.cafe. So now this site is just incredible and yet so unknown to people that I don't get it. Also, it's completely free and it actually comes really close to Shot Deck. The creators even claim to have started this way before Shot Deck came up. He also said that he's gonna add more if he sees more people using it. So win-win, I guess. Now, this database hasn't too many shots yet, but remember this page is still at its beginning. This site offers movies and a few commercials to begin with. What about collections? Well, you can create collections, mark your favorites and also submit. Yes and thank you. Shot Cafe is also tagged, so it allows you to not only search by artists, but also tags, shot attributes and by color. Design is also pretty decent and I know where to find my stuff. Big fan of this one. Let me show you my all-time favorite feature. And I haven't seen this feature on any other platform, not even Shot Deck. RGB parades. Are you kidding? Do you know how great this is? As a DP and colorist, what I would normally do is grab the stills and drag them into DaVinci to look at the waveform and all the other scopes to see where the image is sitting and whatnot. I mean, I still do it if I want to go more in depth, but the fact that it's already there 
for when I just want a quick look on the scopes. That's just incredible, right? And such a huge time saver also. I, I don't even want to have all of these stills sometimes. I only want to have the ones that are inspirational, but sometimes I'm just browsing and then I see, wait, where is this image hitting? Is it already clipping the plaques? It's always good to know a couple of these sites. And I'm pretty sure you can get by with a combination of these three. And yes, even with the limited access of Frameset. Especially if you don't rely on a service like this on a more regular basis. Also, if you do this on a daily basis and you decide to get Frameset app for pre-production, then it's good to know alternatives. If you have any other suggestion, please let us all know in the comments down below. Also subscribe, that would be really appreciated. So thank you for that also. Thumbs up, it would really help with the algorithm. And if you made it until the end, I appreciate you and I really hope to see you on the next one. Bye.